Everybody! Come on, baby, I want to party. Come on, right to the dance floor. I want to swing the day on, and everybody's moving. So come on, keep on grooving. If you want to party, and move your body. Come on, and move your body. Wow. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Sunday, the 14th of November. I'm just heading down the road to Edinburgh with Lewis because he's still on his training course for this job. So I've got two nights in Edinburgh in a lovely apartment, so I'm just going to join him for that, to be honest. And you just can't live without me for three weeks. <laughs> I've just got to travel with him. So that's what I'm going to do. And you guys can just come and see what happens and because we have no idea what's happening. Although we do have bowling book tonight, so... Yeah, we're bowling on a river. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're, we're bowling at lane 7. They've got a new one in Edinburgh. Do you want to tell them a bit about that? No. Okay. <laughs> so guys, we have arrived at the apartment. It is the Wild Stay City Apartments at the Grass Market. They're so nice. Everything's very high tech though. This is a bed here. This is a different room than Lewis had last week, but it's all like touch. I have no idea what any of these mean. Um, but yeah, it's ace and this is the view. I've not even looked, oh yeah. Bloody lovely, we're right at the castle. I'll show you it when we leave, but lovely. And I think they're actually quite expensive. Lewis actually looked up how much they were and they were a lot. I'll just not put the toilet seat down again. But yeah, the shower. Not bad, is it? And a little kettle, microwave, and coffee station. Bloody love it! We've just had a late lunch, early dinner, it's just four o'clock at that bread meets bread. It was amazing, how good was it? We meets happiness is what we're calling it from now on. It was so nice. We're just heading down the shops just now and we'll just see where the night takes us. Oh my god, we look so round. <laughs> actually sitting here crying at this guy's um tiktok if you haven't already you need to go and check him out he's a train spotter and it, i don't know why but it's just so <laughs> good. it's so good this is it again for you it's, <laughs> it's this into lane 7 for some bowling at St James's Quarter oh. and I'm gonna beat your ass
the islands are waiting to beat me up all little. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. How the hell am I even here? And I've just beat Lewis at bowling. How do you feel? <laughs> yes, sir. And try to come to life working nine till five what a way to make a living morning guys Lewis is just away to go to work give us a twirl <laughs> you ordered a coffee me bottoms up you go down is that all <laughs> no, what were you expecting you want a flake it's so cute Tiny little espresso from our little espresso machine. That is me ready for the day. I'm just going to head out into Edinburgh. I've got the whole day on my own. I'm going to do some Christmas shopping. I am absolutely starving. I want to go and grab something to eat. But yeah, just going to see what happens. Got lots of Christmas shopping to do. So I'm just going to blast it today. And then tonight, myself and Lewis are going to the pub, I think, to watch a Scotland game. So there's a lot going on today. I am so bloody excited. I am so glad I've not got a jacket. It is such a bloody lovely morning here in Edinburgh. And I am sweating. Fancy going out in a jumper in November. It's Christmas next month. Bloody hell. But first stop Primark, I think, because I love to go there first and I think I've missed a turn. Yeah, I meant to go down here. Um, oh God, I'm on the road. Yeah, first stop Primark because I can get everything quite cheap there, all my little bits and bobs. So I'd rather go there than, than see what I can get first. So, yeah. Look how bloody gorgeous this morning is absolutely cannot deal with how cute that little baby soaker is <laughs> guys i have stopped off for lunch at yosushi and look at this view look. shopping because I start to get cold and you know what they say when the fun stops stop so I've stopped off for coffee at Layla's and I've got a Lucky Charms coffee which is espresso Lucky Charms and toffee and I just don't know if you're meant to scoop the Lucky Charms out tastes really good I'm not a cereal gal though. But you meant to scoop them out or you meant to drink them? That's the question. Answer me that one. <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed my coffee and I loved sitting outside. 
Um, the owner actually came over and spoke to me, which was so nice. And he was like, this is the city of love. So I believed him and it was just so nice. Um, £4.50 though for my coffee, but the views and the people watching. Something about sitting outside drinking coffee on your own, I recommend. Um, just heading home to the apartment now to meet Lewis because he's just finished. It's just going on four. And I've just messaged him and asked him to take me out for a wine because I deserve it. And I want to sit outside because it's such a lovely evening. I do need my jacket now though. I'm getting a bit chilly. But I am in my gym leggings. My trainers. And Edinburgh's so hilly. My breath. Right guys, I am home and I'll just show you what I bought today. So, so I went back today and actually bought this hat. The one from... Urban Outfitters. This one from Urban Outfitters. Looks ridiculous because my hair's up. But I actually sent a photo of it to my mum. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. And even she liked it. And that's when you know when Dot likes it, like you're all right. So I bought it. Did you fart? Yep. Oh, men. <laughs> that stinks. Um, yeah, the hat was um, £25, but with my NHS discount, I think I got 10%. And then when I gave them my email, they were like, do you want to sign up? And I was like, no. And they're like, you get more discount? I was like, no. And she's like, all, all I need is your email address and you get some extra money off. I was like, oh, go on then. So I paid £21 something for it, which is not bad. Louis thinks I look like relative ill. I'll take it. And he said if I put on a red lipstick, it would take it a step too far. However... Also, oh, I just got a Primark thong. Everyone loves a Primark thong, but I really needed a white one. Are you actually broadcasting that you bought a thong? Yeah, everyone loves a Primark thong, though. Okay, cool. But I don't, I didn't have one, and I'm actually, I wanted one to match my white bralette that I wore with my blue dress at the weekend, but I didn't have one. I asked Luce to go to Primark for me, um, and he went, but it was too busy, couldn't be arsed. So I've just picked one up myself today. How much are they? One pound. I'm sure they used to be ATP. Primark, you're scamming me. That's inflation for you. <laughs> oh yeah, so I went to Hotel Chocolate today and they normally do three little sets of chocolate for a tenner. That's what they were last year. It's three for 12 pound now. Oh my God, four pound each. Quite well. I don't like that. So, I also spoke about in my last vlog that my friend Emma and her daughter Ailey are doing Christmas Eve boxes this year. So basically, they're collecting boxes from people that put together boxes for disadvantaged children and they take them to a charity and they must distribute them for children. That was a mouthful. Anyway, they've got a bigger goal this year. So I'm taking part, I'm doing my bit, as is Lewis. So I'll just show you a few things that I've bought for that. So one box is for a 14 to 15 year old. So I've just bought pyjamas. They say like get Christmas pyjamas so they've got something for Christmas Eve. I've got really thick ones, which I love, Minnie Mouse. Oh, cute. <coughs> so got that for the girl. Oh yeah, I bought this one for me, this hairband. I'll show you that one later. I'm sure you'll see it at some point in the vlog. Um, and I just put in, I'm going to put in some Primark socks, hair clips and hair baubles. I'm also going to get deodorant, um, I'll buy some body wash, like Dove body wash and I'll put in some chocolate. I think that's what I'm going to do for that one. And then for Lewis, mm -hmm. we were going to do a teenage boy, weren't we? But mm -hmm. I couldn't find pyjamas for teenagers, so I ended up getting pyjamas for, uh, Just whenever you're ready, What's seven, oh yeah, seven to eight year old Toy Story pyjamas. How about that? Emma says anything will do. You're making so much noise. What are you doing? Just sit down. And then I got some socks as well for them. And then I think, well, I don't even know what else to get. I don't have a seven or eight year old child. So the rest is up to Lewis. 
<laughs> I ain't got an, I ain't got a clue. They say like activity books, which apparently Emma says you can get in home bargains, and maybe a, like a mug and some hot chocolate. To put some chocolate in there, just something little. Anything will do, and Emma will collect the boxes in Aberdeen. So if anyone else wants to get involved, please drop me a DM, and I'll get you in touch with Emma because this is a fabulous cause. And just if you're out doing your Christmas shopping, buy a little something else. We've got something out of this situation. Rihanna's actually filming me do this, which is so fucking weird. We're in the middle of a bar. Why are you begging Why are you begging Because I need to be close to Mr. Speaker. You can lift the phone up to your face. Right, yeah, I take it. Right, it's on. Right, it's on. Yeah, so. At least I suppose it's on. Good grief. <laughs> Running through New York City. Kevin! <laughs> <Come on! laughs> now we're both lost in New York City. <laughs> That's enough. To the Scotland game! Go sing the Scotland song. So far, Scotland, and how we see a break again. Address this, they've got a pizza, tuna, and onions. That's like a baked potato. Disgusting. I hate tuna, so that's why I'm judging. But my god, guys, how do you feel about one out of ten? Yeah, last night we just went to these cute little pubs and watched the Scotland game, and it was good news for Scotland, I suppose. And last night I drank, I can remember about 10 gins. I tried to think how many there actually was. And I feel it today. But I'm just heading for my train now after I've eaten my Weatherspoons breakfast. And I hope you enjoyed this one. If you made it to the end, then thank you very much. And remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.